what's up youtube so hello again guys thanks for watching um i want to do a little review on the frost river backpack uh the geologist i bought this one this summer i wanted a bag that was in between uh my frost river bushcraft isle um royal jr and between my eyefall short day pack this is what i choose uh, i use this mainly as a work bag i'm a bosch pilot as some of you might know i'm not sure yet but uh yeah so i fly over wild wilderness and uh that's pretty much part of my job so i gotta carry a reliable gear i got survival equipment on me when i work and um i do need some space for my flying gear as well so i wanted something a little bit bigger than the eyefall but not as big as the frost river because i mean i don't want to take a full camping gear but i do want some survival stuff so yeah let's get in the main of the subject uh frost river backpack nice quality as all of them 18 ounce uh, canvas waxed canvas got leather brass and that's pretty much it okay it's a good quality and uh, I really like the looks of these bags. They look a bit classical and uh, remind you of the Indiana Jones vibes. And I was a fan of that when I was young and that's why I fly planes. So there you go. Let's get in it. Um, you got four main pockets. You got two small ones in the forehand. You got the main one and a small one in the top of the bag here. So the two small one on the outside are quick releases uh i was not sure about these before i tried them i like him okay it's just a little knob that fits into a leather strap you got four point you can put it on uh i just used the, this one i never used it at another setting so that's why the other looks so tight but yeah um these are not that big i mean you, you can fit some stuff in them let me show you uh, one, the one that is still filled. There you go. So I got uh, a snack, small snack, some hula gloves. I got my Phoenix headlamp and a battery. Okay, so that's what I got in there, and it was not filled up to the brim. I mean, it it, it was maybe three-quarter filled okay so these little pouch are pretty handy for uh, quick stuff you want to have access quickly okay so you can see there's still a lot of place in there it's not filled up at all okay I'm still I, I could close it at the tightest point there if I wanted to but I just use this one all the time so there you go put the knob on and it it old okay it, it's not bomb proof hold but it's gonna hold uh your pocket and my little survival kit in there with um what was it yeah i think it was just oh no it was my survival kit and my uh tarp tarp line so yeah that was in there after that main pocket um main pocket you got the lashing here that I unbuckled before, so you got a nice little brass buckle. So this one is bump proof. It's not gonna go anywhere. You got the Frost River logo on this protective lip, and then you get in the main bag. You got a knapsack closure with a string. You got my little carabiner here for my uh, Copilco cup. Let me take a sip. Talking about it. Right there beside my little fire with the nice color of Hotum. So, uh, main pocket. Well, no, let, let's go with this uh, small one here. Um, this one is a zipper closed pocket. It's pretty small, about the same size as these ones, okay? Maybe even a little bit bigger, okay? You see? So now what I have in it is a scarf, that's it, okay? But um, normally when I work, what I got in there is I got my Garmin GPS with my, um, well, it's a 
in reach system so if there is a problem with my plane and the ELT in my plane I can toggle that and will trigger that and I'm gonna get rescue on me quickly and that's what you want okay and I most of the time put my pens my GPS and my calculator my flight computer in there okay so that's it after that the main pocket if I show it to you with one end and a cell phone it's not that easy okay so you got plenty of place uh, it's a nice bag I think it's something like 35 liters that goes in there I'll have to check my numbers I'll write it down in the description now every lashing point is reinforced with leather so that's the front one these are the bottom one for the shoulder strap that goes there and um, they're all double stitch with the rivets and reinforced leather okay that's not going anywhere you got brass here for the, the string a little frost river made in minnesota logo here okay so yeah the, that's it guys there's the frost river geologist backpack yep, let me give you a little tour of my camp that's for the evening so that's about I used uh, earlier in the winter got my little fireplace here with rocks that's sort of gonna heat up and I'm gonna be able to use these uh, during the night if it's too chilly with my hood blanket and um, there's my setup I got my plash black uh, with a percord line bow line here project knots and a trucker's edge down there with my uh, Savata mat. Got my old, um, MSR seagull there. Yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please give it a like. Subscribe if you want. Really appreciate it. And uh, have a good time. Bye.